assalamu alaikum welcome to my presentation on well optimization where i am abdullah tahmid in this presentation on today's context is humback well attacking strategy mathematical model and last we will see an example of this algorithm so let's first know about the wells we have different types of wells like killer well spinback well humback well blue well and main well Now let's see some interesting facts about whale. They never sleep. Uh, whale live alone or in a group. Killer whales can live in a family and they generally eat squirrels and fish. So this L no, now we will know about humpback whale. Humpback whale is a very big whale. Uh, it's generally normal size is like a school bus. We can, in the picture we can see uh, in respect of an elephant, the whale is much bigger. Generally, the algorithm is inspired by the hunting technique of the humpback whales. So that's why we'll know first the attacking strategy of, of this whale. So in this whale, uh, in the first steps, they search for the prey. Uh, in the picture, we can see that a, a whale is searching for prey in the deep ocean. And in the next step, well, he found a prey. He dived 12 meter deep from the prey. And uh, this is the second step. After diving 12 meter deep from the prey, he created bubble net uh, around in the prey. And he uh, circulated this bubble, uh, create circul circulation of bubble nets uh, around the prey. And this process is called create bubble net feeding. Next, the final step is attacking the prey. So this was the complete strategy, attacking strategy of uh, humpback whale. And on the basis of this strategy, our whale optimization algorithm works. So according to this, we have here some mathematical model uh, searching for prey uh, and cycling prey and hunting or attacking. So in the first step, searching for prey, where we use the A is a vector, coefficient vector. And here we uh, uh, <coughs> assign random variable in A. If A value is greater than one, then uh, the individual is far from away. That means the individual is uh, not closer to the new one. So we have to find a new individual. So we have others mathematical model for uh, well, optimization algorithm like here r is the random variable t is the iteration and max t is the maximum number of iteration and here we calculate b for distance distance vector and here the best candidate solution is the target prey once the base search agent is defined other search agents will update their position <coughs> towards the base search agent that means others when base search agent is found, others agents will update their own position according to the base search agent. So in the next, we'll see and cycling the prey. Here we have to calculate the distance vector. And here x is x strix is the best solution obtained, and x is the position of the current x is the current position, and t is the number of iteration. Next, we have to uh, uh, we have to see the method for attacking. Uh, so that is the, that is why we will see uh, use this equation for attacking method. Here, when a the value of a is less than one, that means agent approaches to the current position, optimal position. That means the agent is near to the optimal position. Now, uh, let's see an example. So here we have the uh, we have initialized the population with the number of n where n is equal to five. That means we have five uh, five size of population, and we have randomized some value five values. And then in the next steps, we have to calculate the fitness value. Uh, we will calculate the fitness value with the help of this equation, and then uh, we calculate the fitness value for each value and we found the fitness here 16.096 1.492.1 1.4192 1 1 and 2.4043 and the lowest value is 1.4192 that means this is the nearest value of 
the uh, position and that is why it is the best fitness value. So we will choose uh, 1.4192 as the best fitness value. Just we can uh, we have a pseudo code here for the well optimization algorithm. And that was my uh, in-depth my presentation. Thank you.